Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are here for my 36 week bump date. I cannot believe that we have made it this far. This is crazy. Let's hop on into what's been going on this past week. If you guys are new to my channel, I would love if you subscribed and joined my little family here on YouTube. I do a lot of mom life content, but I also share home decor videos, DIYs, fashion, healthy eating, and I plan to record my postpartum and my postpartum weight loss journey with you guys as well. Um, and we have a lot of like really fun travel trips coming up. Lots of really fun content coming up for you guys in the near future, so make sure that you are subscribed. I'd love if you join my little family. All right, so getting into my bump date. You guys know that when I sit here and I tell you what's been going on for the past week that I am that I have already experienced that full week. So I'm doing my 36 week bump date, but I'm actually 37 weeks and three days right now. So baby boy could make his appearance at any moment. I do have a I am in labor video pre-recorded so that when I do go into labor, I can set that to public and then you guys will know to be on the lookout on my Instagram and be on the lookout for that birth vlog coming at you on YouTube as well. This has been a really exciting week, you guys. Now this is my second baby. For those of you who do not know, I have a three, almost three and a half year old daughter named Kaya, um, who's actually sitting in the bed eating a popsicle right now. And when I was pregnant with Kaya, I went to about 42 weeks pregnant. My body did not progress. I did not dilate. I wasn't softened or thinned um, whatsoever when I went in for my induction. In fact, right before my induction, it was my appointment before my induction with Kaya. They and they told me that I was completely closed. I was maybe a little bit softer um, than I had been, but um, completely closed. Went in for my induction, and they said I was dil dilated to about a one. So my body was already naturally kind of going into labor at this point, but really a one. It could have been quite a bit longer before I had her. So I really did need that medical intervention at 42 weeks to get my body going. This time around has been so different. I really hope that this information will help another second time mom. I didn't realize how different your body can be with each pregnancy. I knew each pregnancy was different and each baby was very different, but I didn't realize how different the actual like process of your body getting ready for birth could be. It's so different. So I mentioned to you guys in my last update that I was experiencing a lot of cramping and <laughs> I knew something was going on down there. So December 31st, Monday, December 31st, New Year's Eve, I had my 36 week doctor's appointment and it was blizzarding outside. It was not that nice. <laughs> Brought Kaya with me. I usually drop Kaya off at daycare before I head in for my 8 a.m. appointments. But this particular morning, it was so bad on the road that I only made it as far as the clinic. Um, and so Kaya came with me this morning and she was very sweet. It was probably one of my favorite appointments because Kaya was with me. Um, I didn't know that they were gonna check me. I totally forgot that they check you starting at 36 weeks, so that was interesting. They did the group B test, group B strep test, which I was negative for the first time and I am negative for this time around as well, which is nice because basically all that means is that you would need antibiotics while you're in labor every four hours, I believe. But this way I don't need to be all hooked up to a bunch of um, wires and fluids until I decide that I want my epidural, which you need a full bag of fluids before you get your epidural. This way you can kind of labor um, without being strung up like Pinocchio. So negative for group B strep. Um, but then they decided to check me and I found out that I was completely, almost completely thinned out and effaced. I didn't ask him what the percentages were. He just said I was very soft, almost completely thinned out and effaced. And um, basically the reason why I wasn't dilating is because, so baby should be head down at this point and he is head down. But um, so say like these are my hips, baby is head down, but he is off like to one side. His head is like nestled in my um, in my right hip, which is kind of the side that he's favored this entire pregnancy. So I wasn't surprised. So he wasn't engaged yet, but he said as soon as his head engages, that basically it was go time and that I was going to start dilating. Well, I can share with you that as of this week, his head has engaged. He did drop 
I will put a picture in for you guys right here of like Monday versus like Thursday. <laughs> it definitely dropped down into my pelvis. And this day too, I remember on Thursday, I was texting Mike and I'm thinking, I'm going in to labor because I was having such severe cramping and contractions. I thought for sure that he was coming that day but I believe that it was actually because he just was engaging into my pelvis and my cervix was already soft, so it was already completely thinned out and effaced. So yes, I do think that there's some dilation going on down there. Very exciting. I don't have an appointment with my doctor until next Thursday, which will technically be my 37 week appointment. They only scheduled me out for appointments to the 24th and then if I'm not in labor by the 24th I believe that I would be induced on the next day the 25th or like that weekend because the 25th is on a Friday but we will evaluate on the 24th to see where I'm sitting and I obviously think that I will be favorable for an induction if I choose to go that way. Um, I would like to naturally go into labor but I will get into those details later on in the video. All right so yeah lots of cramping um, has been happening. He has dropped and they call that the lightning and they say right now that baby could be between six and eight pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and about 18 to 20 inches long. My guess is for his birth weight, I think he is going to be a little bit smaller than Kaya. I think when he makes his appearance, like he'll be about seven and a half pounds, maybe eight pounds, and he will be about 20 inches long. But we'll see if my predictions are correct. Okay, so to prepare for this labor and delivery, I have been doing quite a bit. You guys know my last couple of updates, I've been sharing tidbits of what I've been doing to prepare for labor. And I believe it was my 34 week bump day. I told you guys that I was starting to do the um, evening primrose oil. I did share that with you in my last bump day as well. So I have been continuing to do that. I've been inserting two um, vaginally every single evening to help soften my cervix. Even though it is almost completely thinned out in the face, I figured that this would really just help the area prep for labor and delivery, really soften the surrounding areas as well to prevent any tearing like it did with my first pregnancy. So I've really been enjoying that. Now, the only disclaimer I will share with the evening primrose oil is if you're taking, if you're inserting it instead of taking it orally, you will leak quite a bit. So you do want to do it at night. Make sure that you're wearing a pad of some sort um, and just be aware that the oil does leak out. So it's messy. It's been really messy. It's been really sticky. Um, but I do firmly believe that it helps with the laboring process and um, helping not to tear down there. A firm believer. Um, a couple of requests that I have gotten on my past couple of videos is for A, a bear bump shot. I do not share a bear bump shot just because I'm not comfortable as of right now sharing my belly. My belly is covered in stretch marks and it just kind of hangs there. I've got some extra skin um, from getting so large with Kaya and I will was not blessed with the greatest of genetics when it comes to my skin so my poor belly is just destroyed and I know you're supposed to wear your tiger stripes loud and proud but honestly it is just a part of my body that I'm not super comfortable with sharing and recording on the internet so I will not do a bare bump shot but I am more than happy to do a bump shot this time I know that I forgot to do that last time Another question that I got is, and I've been getting this a lot, is um, TMI questions. Am I leaking fluids? Am I burping? Am I farting? Um, you guys, yeah, I'm a pregnant lady. I am very burpy. I'm very gassy. I don't tend to fart. I, I don't know why. I feel like the gas never makes it down that far, but I definitely belch. I definitely belch like I've just drank a gallon of beer. There's the answer to that question. Yes, I am very gassy. As far as like leaking fluids, um, yes, there is a lot of CM going on. Now for you guys who don't know what CM means, this is very much so TMI. It is cervical mucus. It even grosses me out talking about it. But yes, there is a lot of discharge that happens at the end of pregnancy as your cervix is thinning and dilating and effacing. Um, there's 
all of this like buildup of mucus that has like been up there for a while and it is all coming out towards the end of pregnancy. It has been bad enough to the point where I've had to wear a panty liner. So yes, TMI, but all of you other mamas out there know exactly what I'm talking about and hopefully that information will help you guys to know, you first time mamas, uh, to know that yes, that is coming for you in the future. Getting into the last topic, or the last subject of my 36 week bump date, I have kicked up my red raspberry leaf tea consumption. I am getting into about two to three cups a day right now, and that can be hot or cold. And I've shared with you guys the brand that I've, that I've been using, um, but I will have that linked down below for you again. It's just the labor prep, or labor and delivery prep, I believe it's called. It's got like a little stork on the can. Um, again, link down below, but I've been having two to three cups of that per day, and I am also considering acupuncture um, once we get towards 39-ish weeks, if I haven't naturally gone into labor by then, um, just because I, I don't want to be induced. I would really love to experience um, going into labor by myself and letting my body do its thing, but I also don't want to go over due to the um, Meconium scare that we had with Kaya when I went over with her. I was more on the natural side with her um, along with my doctor's approval um, and we went to 42 weeks and that was as long as they could wait medically for me to go. So um, yeah, I just would really like to experience like that natural side of things this time, but we will see what happens. I've been bouncing on my medicine ball every single evening. I've been doing figure eight movements. I've been walking a lot. Um, and now after this video, I am gonna do a clean and undecorate video with me. And maybe it'll set me into labor, I don't know. I've just been a lot more active this time instead of sitting on my butt and just waiting for baby to come like I did last time. So hopefully between all of these other things that I'm trying this time it will help push my body into labor. Starting at about 38, 38 and a half weeks, I will start TMI incorporating more intercourse to help move things along. Um, I have heard from my doctor and from several midwives and nurses that this is a great way to get things going naturally as well. One last thing that I forgot to tell you guys, I am producing, the ladies are producing. I am um, leaking um, colostrum, colostrum. I have been leaking the clear gold fluid for the past week or so. So I know that labor is very, very near because of Kaya, I didn't, nothing, I didn't produce anything. With Kaya, I even tried to um, use my breast pump to induce labor when I was 40 weeks pregnant because, because they say that like nipple stimulation um, can help um, stimulate contractions. And I wasn't producing anything when I did that. So just by like hand self-expressing this time, I'm already producing the colostrum at 36 and a half weeks. It's just crazy to me. So we will see what happens in the next week or so. Like I said, I do have an I'm in labor video pre-recorded so that you guys are in the know and I will be sharing it on Instagram as well. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram and all of my social medias. That is going to wrap it up for my 36 week bump date. It was quite a bit longer than my other ones, but there is so much going on and I wanna make sure that I don't miss anything for you guys and also for myself in the future with other babies. I want to remember how different it was this time around. Again, if you are new here, please be sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and you don't miss out on the birth vlog for this baby boy. It could be any day now and I just can't believe it. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like this type of video on my channel. Leave a comment down below if you guys have more questions, the TMI questions, and anything I might have missed. I'm an open book, you guys. I will for sure share anything with you guys or at least explain to you like why I wouldn't share something. So leave a comment down below. Thanks again for tuning into today's video and I will see you guys sometime in the very near future. Okay, bye guys. To myself, what a wonderful world.